Picture this. It's a quiet afternoon, and you're lounging on the living room sofa, the soft glow of the television casting a warm and inviting spell. The year is 1973, and something entirely new is about to grace your screen. The Young and the Restless. You might not have known it then, but this TV series was destined to become an indelible part of your life. A timeless tale of passion, drama, and the complex dance of human relationships. Your first encounter with the show was like meeting an old friend for the first time. Familiar yet refreshingly new. The characters, their intricately woven stories, and the captivating world of Genoa City unfolded before your eyes, leaving an indelible mark on your heart. Maybe it was the legendary Victor Newman's cunning charisma, the tempestuous love affairs, or the scandalous secrets that kept you coming back for more. Do you remember those late-night discussions with friends or family about the latest twist in the lives of the Abbots? Or the Newmans? The Young and the Restless wasn't just a TV show, it was a shared experience, a journey into the depths of human emotions that resonated with viewers across generations. As we delve into some random facts about this iconic series, let's revisit those memorable moments in stories that have stood the test of time. From its inception in 73 to the present day, The Young and the Restless has been a true testament to the enduring power of storytelling. So, grab a seat, dear reader, and let's explore the fascinating world of Genoa City and the incredible journey of the young and the restless. Prepare to be surprised, intrigued, and perhaps even a little nostalgic as we uncover the secrets and trivia that have shaped this beloved show. It's a journey you won't want to miss, and it all begins right here, right now. In the 1973 TV series, The Young and the Restless, there's an interesting connection between the cast of another show called The Rat Patrol. Alongside Eric Breeden, six other actors, namely Steve Franken, Mark Tapscott, Frank Marth, Michael Evans, Paul Stevens, and Carl Bruck, also appeared on both The Rat Patrol and The Young and the Restless. This unique crossover of talent added a distinctive flavor to the soap opera. Moreover, in a rather unconventional move, when Gene Cooper, who played Catherine Chancellor, decided to undergo a facelift, the show's producers incorporated it into the storyline. They wrote a plot in which Catherine underwent a facelift, complete with hospitalization and recovery. This innovative approach demonstrated the series' ability to adapt real-life situations into its fictional narrative. Additionally, in 1998, the series faced a casting challenge due to the untimely death of actress Michelle Thomas. To fill the role of Callie Rogers Stark, Sienna Goines was brought in as her replacement. This change in cast highlighted the show's resilience in the face of unexpected circumstances. These intriguing tidbits shed light on the creative and adaptive nature of the young and the restless, making it not just a long-running soap opera but also a dynamic and engaging series. Engaging series. In 1976, the theme song of the young and the restless, originally known as Cotton's Dream, found an unexpected connection with Olympic gymnast Nadia Komensai. ABC's Wide World of Sports used this tune as background music for a montage of Nadia's performances at the 1976 Olympics. Although Nadia didn't perform to this song, it became linked to her. Eventually, the song's writer officially changed its name to Nadia's theme. This soap opera, The Young and the Restless, also made history as the first U.S. soap opera and daytime program to be broadcast in high-definition television. The theme song, not his theme, originally titled Cotton's Dream, was featured in the movie Bless the Beasts and Children. The Young and the Restless continues to be an iconic TV series with its share of interesting connections and historical firsts. In 1973, The Young and the Restless made its debut on television screens, quickly becoming a soap opera sensation. While there isn't enough substantial information available about the primetime specials or Christopher Douglas' departure, here's an interesting tidbit about the show. For several years, viewers witnessed the character Catherine Chancellor sipping her tea from China with a touch of elegance. That China, seen on screen, was none other than the Royal Albert pattern called Heirloom. This subtle detail added a touch of sophistication to the show, reflecting the attention to detail that has made The Young and the Restless a beloved series. 
And there you have it, a little known fact about a timeless TV series. The young and the restless has kept fans captivated for decades, and it's these small touches that contribute to its enduring appeal. Enduring appeal. In preparation for its 50th anniversary in 2023, the TV series The Young and the Restless organized a contest. The lucky winner of this contest was granted the opportunity to attend a special, fancy party held in honor of the show's 50th anniversary. The prize also included a VIP tour of the show sets and a two-night stay on a beautiful beach island. This event allowed fans to get up close and personal with the world of Genoa City while celebrating the show's long-lasting success. On February 4, 1980, the show made a significant change by transitioning from a half-hour format to a one-hour format. This shift forced the show to recast several main characters as the original actors' contracts were for a half-hour show, not an hour-long one. Additionally, over time, the show phased out the original core families in favor of introducing new ones. This change was a pivotal moment in the show's history, shaping its future and introducing new dynamics to keep viewers engaged. Notably, one of the show's biggest fans is Cal Ripken, a baseball Hall of Fame shortstop. His appreciation for the young and the restless showcases the broad appeal of the series, reaching even those in the world of professional sports. Ripken's fandom demonstrates the show's enduring popularity and influence across different spheres of entertainment. These facts shed light on the show's journey from its early days in 1973 to its 50th anniversary celebration in 2023. Marked by significant changes, fan engagement, and surprising connections in the world of sports, The Young and the Restless continues to captivate audiences, proving its lasting impact on television. In 1973, the TV series The Young and the Restless made its debut under its original working title, The Innocent Years. The show, known for its long and successful run, has had some interesting behind-the-scenes details. For instance, when Michael Damien joined the cast as Danny Romilotti, it was the character Kay Chancellor, not Gene Cooper, who paid Danny to make a video, despite Cooper not knowing much about rock music. In addition to these tidbits, the series featured classic episode theme weeks during its time. These weeks included Catherine Week, Nikki and Victor Week, Rivals Week, Winters Week, Villains Week, Abbott's Week, Romance Week, Weddings Week, Emmy Week, Chris and Paul Week, Hottest Summer Week, Baldwin Fisher Week, Fan Favorites Week, Newman Week, and OMG Week. The Young and the Restless has certainly left its mark on television history with its intriguing working title and diverse episode themes. These facts provide a glimpse into the show's enduring appeal and rich history. Ch history, ch history, ch history. Love and scandal, cast member affairs in The Young and the Restless in 1973. The Young and the Restless burst onto TV screens, quickly becoming a daytime drama sensation. While the show's enduring popularity has been marked by riveting storylines and memorable characters, it also generated its fair share of off-screen drama. In this article, we delve into the scandals and controversies that erupted due to cast member affairs, sparking outrage among viewers. The legacy of drama affairs among cast members can significantly impact the narrative and perception of a TV show. The Young and the Restless was no exception. Notable affairs among actors shaped the on-screen chemistry and off-screen tensions, often seeping into the storyline. One such affair involved Gene Cooper and William Gray as spy. Their passionate off-screen romance translated into electrifying on-screen chemistry, shaping the characters of Catherine Chancellor and Snapper Foster. However, when their relationship soured, it led to a tense atmosphere on set, ultimately influencing character dynamics and storyline decisions. Love and scandal, news of romantic entanglements between actors often ignited public outrage. Viewers who invested emotionally in on-screen couples were shocked when those relationships crumbled behind the scenes. The affair between Victoria Mallory and John McCook is a prime example. Their off-screen romance raised eyebrows and divided fans who couldn't separate fiction from reality. Such scandals often tested the loyalty of the show's dedicated fan base, sparking heated debates and fan reactions. While some fans sympathized with the actors' personal lives, others felt betrayed and expressed their disappointment loudly. In the end, The Young and the Restless weathered these storms, proving its resilience and enduring appeal. 
The show's ability to navigate cast member affairs and continue delivering compelling drama speaks to its status as a television institution. In the ever-changing landscape of Hollywood, where personal lives are often as scrutinized as on-screen performances, The Young and the Restless stands as a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring allure of daytime drama. Love and Loss, the tragic romances of The Young and the Restless cast members in old Hollywood in the world of soap operas, where drama often spills from the screen to real life. The Young and the Restless has its share of behind-the-scenes stories. One particularly gripping tale centers around the tragic romances of some of the show's cast members in the heyday of old Hollywood. During the 1970s, when The Young and the Restless first hit the airwaves, several of its actors were veterans of the golden age of cinema. Their lives were colored by love affairs that captivated the public's imagination. Take, for example, the whirlwind romance between Susan Hayes, who played Joanne Curtis and a dashing leading man of the silver screen. Their love story ignited the tabloids, but ultimately ended in heartbreak when he left her for another starlet. This personal tragedy seemed to echo in Susan's on-screen performances, adding depth to her character's struggles with love and loss. Similarly, Michael Richardson, known for his role as the enigmatic Dr. Henry MacArthur, was entangled in a passionate affair with a renowned actress. Their love affair was intense but short-lived as both faced the pressures of Hollywood stardom. Michael's on-screen character began to reflect the complexities of his own romantic tribulations, creating a profound connection between his real-life experiences and the character he portrayed. These tumultuous romances were not limited to the actors' personal lives. They found their way into the storyline of the young and the restless. The show's writers deftly incorporated the emotional turmoil of their cast members into the narrative drawing on the genuine pain and heartache these actors endured. As audiences watched the on-screen drama unfold, they couldn't help but wonder how much of it mirrored reality. The tragic romances of the young and the restless cast members in old Hollywood added a layer of authenticity and depth to the show that resonated with viewers. It was a reminder that even in the glitzy world of television, the line between fiction and reality could blur. In the end, the personal lives of the actors became intertwined with the characters they portrayed, leaving an indelible mark on the show's legacy. Love and loss, both on and off the screen, were inextricably linked, creating a unique and unforgettable chapter in the history of the young and the restless. As we bid adieu to the realm of the young and the restless, we embark on a journey through time, where love, drama, and intrigue converge to create an unforgettable tapestry of human emotions. This iconic 1973 TV series invited us into the lives of the residents of Genoa City, weaving a rich narrative that resonated with hearts far and wide. Reflect, if you will, on the moments that became imprinted in your memory, the passionate romances, the bitter rivalries, and the enduring friendships. From the glamorous Newman family to the indomitable Abbots, the characters of the young and the restless became more than just figures on a screen. They became a part of our lives. Now, we extend an invitation to you, dear reader, viewer, to share your treasured memories and thoughts about this beloved show. What character touched your heart the most? Which storyline kept you on the edge of your seat? Perhaps you've even drawn inspiration from the trials and tribulations of Genoa City. In the tapestry of life, the young and the restless threads its own unique story. So, take a moment to reminisce and let us know how this series has impacted you. Your stories, your insights, and your reflections will add yet another layer to the rich history of this timeless show. Thank you for your time and your unwavering interest in the young and the restless. Your connection to this series is a testament to its enduring legacy. Stay tuned for more enriching journeys through the world of entertainment, curated just for you. Warm regards. Warm regards. Warm regards.